Hey everyone, trying something a little different this month. I was having some trouble with my cell phone. I couldn't get it to focus with the lighting and everything, so I'm trying the webcam on the laptop. So hopefully it'll work out. I've been playing around with the settings, trying to get a one video to come out right that YouTube will take with the right size and everything. But um, I got my mystery tackle box for February 2015. It's the ice fishing box. It's my second box that I've gotten. Last month I got the box for $4.99. This month I paid full price, so $15. Um, they have one more month of the ice fishing. March is their last month. They do it until November, and then it switches back over to you can choose the saltwater or the freshwater one. So I'll be getting, if I keep getting them, I'll be getting the freshwater one. But uh, I've opened up a bunch of the stuff because I've already filmed this a couple times. And uh, so I'll show you the package and the lure, and we'll go through everything and see what the value of everything was. So the first one I've got here, this was the same company and packaging that we got on one of the lures last month. So I'll show you the packaging was one of these um, fish fry minnows. But last month, the one we got last month was a spoon, and it's a little one. The one we got this month from Northland Fishing Tackle is a blade, and it's a lot bigger. So you can kind of see the difference in size. So that was the spoon, and this one's the blade. A little bit more detail on it because it's bigger, but you can see it's flat, and then got the built-in weight on the front of it. It's got the hook up here to hook it on, and then the two treble hooks. And they're actually different sizes. The front one's a little bit bigger than the back one. And it says it's got the super glow finish on it. That is valued at five sixty nine to six twenty nine, I guess, depending on which one you got in your in your box. What they they must have different sizes and colors. Hooks pretty sharp, but once again, that's the one we got this month, and you can see kind of compare it to the the spoon one we got last month from the same company, single hook, whereas this one's a blade with the double treble hooks. The next thing we got was this two-pack Sitka Yukon Shiners. We got, these are vertical jigs. We got one of these last month from Rapala, but a little bit different. This month we got a two-pack. They're both exactly the same. I've taken one out of the package. They, they have like glow-in-the-dark paint on the bellies. It's got, again, just like most of your vertical jigs, it's got the two hooks single hooks on each end and then the treble hook in the middle and the plastic tail on it so these when you drop them down through the hole they're supposed to kind of circle around and kind of go down like that so I'll show you real quick this is the one we got last month from Rapala you can see it's a little bit different shape this one this month they're more of a torpedo profile shape and this one you can kind of see it's totally encased in the plastic from the tail Whereas the one we got this month, the plastic tail is just goes to where it fuses on the body and that's it. And then the rest of it's metal with a little bead eye. Whereas this one, the whole thing is encased in plastic. You can almost see the gap there in the plastic. So that was the one last month. The hooks are a little bit bigger on the one last month. And the hooks are slightly smaller, but it's longer little bit longer not much and a different profile it's got the narrow like almost torpedo shape that two pack was valued at 749 and the next thing we've got by hog fish hog tackle we got this little leader with a treble hook on it it's called their bloodline number 10 stinger hook a five pack, no, a three pack of these is valued at $4.99, and we got a sample of one of them. So this is a 20 pound wire red braid, and then you've got the eagle claw treble hook on the on the other end of it. It says it's to hook to your live bait rig or favorite lure. I I don't know if I'll be able to use this because in New Hampshire you can't put live bait on a treble hook it has to be a single hook to use live bait on it the next thing we got 
here's the package. It was a Len Thompson original series number seven spoon. So it's a brass, solid brass spoon. Here's the color. It was yellow with red diamonds. Got the number seven treble hook. And then the back is unpainted and it's just the solid brass. We got something kind of like this last month. A little bit different shape to the spoon and the treble hook's a little bigger. But the spoons are pretty much the same size. This one last month that I got was silver with the red dots. And then it had the gold or brass on the other side. The um, They feel about the same weight. Oops, got them hooked together. But this was valued at 382 for the Len Thompson one that we got this month. And again, this one this month, is it says right on the package, it's solid brass. The next thing we got, kind of the same package. We got something from this company last month, VMC Pro Series Waxy Jigs. You can see they're pretty small. They're number 10, half a gram, 164th of an ounce. They've got like a solid plastic body on the hook. And it's silver with black on the top of them. Kind of looks like a little pill bug. Last month we got, they were in almost the same package, but I think they were called Glow Jigs. And they look like these right here. I got two of them last month. Same size hook, but it was like a jig head with a little grub body. And it's supposed to glow in the dark. I haven't had a chance to really try them out yet. The ones we got this month, though, are Waxy Jigs. And they are... Plastic and it's a two pack at two ninety nine for the two pack. And the last thing we got this month was this package by Junior Jig Tails. We got two jig heads. The card says that a five pack of these is worth a dollar fifty. We got two of them. A little sample pack. And the jigs we got are the Junior Jigglers. You can see we got a four pack of those. You see they've got all the little legs all over them. These are a purple color with silver flakes. The jigs themselves, a four pack is worth $1.75. And then a five pack of the jig heads was worth $1.50. So I'm not sure what type of metal these are made out of. We're not allowed to use lead in New Hampshire under a certain size so if these are lead then I can't use them but they're they're pretty shiny so they they're either painted or they might be some type of other metal if I'm lucky they're tungsten but I was I couldn't find it on their website and it doesn't say anywhere on the package and I might have to email the company and see what they're actually made out of pretty soon in New Hampshire you, you're not gonna be able to use any lead tackle at all so might as well find out now and get rid of them and get something else to use with them if I have to no sense in keeping them if I can't use them in a few months anyway and that was pretty much it for this month uh, overall not a bad little box again we got um, our get 499 card our mystery tackle box sticker that you get in every box. And instead of the Dibble Digest this month, we got the, the cool little calendar that's got all the pictures of different baits. And it's got shipping day marked in it every month when the mystery tackle box gets shipped out. And then it's got blue and red events listed on every, almost every weekend. Those are the FLW and Bass events for that weekend. So pretty cool little different something different it's fun to get different stuff in them every once in a while breaks up the monotony a little bit sometimes of getting the same little newspaper or whatever every every month but if you have any questions post them in the comments any any pot any feedback on what I can do better or how I can make the videos a little better um, let me know because I'm kind of new at doing all this stuff just the last two months I've been doing the videos and hopefully I'll get some more boxes here in the mail in the next couple weeks and I'll review those when they come. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.